Hello guys, welcome to the first tutorial on Unix shell scripting. My name is Sijesh and I will show you how to learn Unix shell scripting in an easy and effective way. So before going further, we will see what is a Unix shell. So shell is basically an interface that is used to talk to the operating system kernel. So it take the input from the user and pass it into the operating system then execute that in from the backend and will be given back to the user through shell. So the shell basically an environment which we can run commands, programs and other shell script. Next, what are the different types of shell? There are mainly major two major types of shell available. One is a bond shell and the second type is C shell. So within bond shell, we have SH, KSH, bash, and in C shell, we have CSH and TCSH shells available. So you can see what are the type of shell that an operating system support in your case. And also you can switch between shell. So next is how to learn Unix shell scripting. So learning shell scripting is very easy and like any language so the learning uh, the first phase is learn alphabet similarly the backbone or backend uh, thing that we use for unix shell scripting is the basic commands so you need to walk through all the commands or most of the commands that we use in unix environment then once you have familiar with that so we can start writing shell script so only one shortcut is to do couple of exercises so for each and every videos at the end i will give you some sample questions so you can try it yourself and do lot of practice so only one shortcut is to do some exercise and learn basic commands so for practice and learning purpose you can choose any one of the operating linux or unix based operating system so here i am using centos 7.4 and uh, you can use either Ubuntu or CentOS, Red Hat or Fedora Flower. And what are the shells supported by our operating system? You can view that from this file, etc shells. So these are the shells that it support. And what is my current shell? I can use echo dollar zero. So that is the shell that we are typing. Okay. And as uh, every user okay so every user you can switch to uh, any other shell by using this uh, shell command the slash bin sh or bash or whatever so now if i do echo dollar zero it's saying slash bin slash sh okay and uh, also we can uh, get the what is the default shell associated with a user id you can use get ENT password root. So the last part slash bin bash that is the default shell associated with user root. Also you can use this variable to get that value. But that doesn't mean that I am into that shell. So even though I switch to a CSS shell, so you can see the dollar shell variable is still have that and also get ENT is returning slash bin sh. But how do we check what is our shell? You can just use echo dollar zero that will list okay on which shell you are right now. And uh, I have one user OS boxes and it's a default shell is slash bin bash. So let me log in to that using this OS boxes and uh, type the password once prompted. Okay, and if I just use uh, any of this command echo dollar shell and that is slash bin bash and echo dollar zero that is also bash. Okay, so that is how the default shell for a user works. So you can change this user's default shell by using user mod command iPhone s what is the new shell we want to set. I can just use slash bin csh and uh, this username os boxes just enter so now this default shell has changed to this os box user so use get ent command to see that so it's slash bin csh 
So now I'm just taking another shell session and log in with OS boxes. And once prompted, type the password. And uh, so this time, if I do uh, dollar shell or dollar zero, that is CSH, and uh, dollar shell variable also will give you that slash bin CSH. So next, we will see how to create a shell script. So I'm just using tester.sh. This uh, sh extension is optional. Even if you are not using that .sh extension, it will work. So the first line is hash, then followed by bang. So we call this hash bang or sh bang, and then the path complete path to the shell executable. And uh, write some comments. Echo is the command which I used to print something on the terminal and date is the command which will uh, print date and time and again one more echo so I have got three lines and the next thing I'm doing here is just adding execute permission to that script and use dot slash test one dot sh so this is getting executed and you can see the output here so that's it hope you enjoyed the learning thank you for watching so please subscribe this channel to get more updates. See you in the next video. Bye.